There we go. Hey everybody, it is Amanda. I'd like to welcome our replay viewers. Thank you for checking out this scope today. And thank you for those that are joining. I um, have been reading the news, and I'm sure that you have seen it also, that um, Ava Anderson is going to, um, they're temporarily closed, I believe, they're rebranding uh, because of a few issues they had. And if you have not heard about it, I'll just share quickly what's going on. And um, just, yeah, share some thoughts. Um, so first of all, Avery Anderson is all about non-toxic skincare and um, what you're putting on your body and how it affects you. And um, they were very proud to promote a line that was organic and free of chemicals. And come to find out, they actually had, um, their suppliers were using um, ingredients that they had not, they were not aware of and went, went totally against their whole mission. And um, that's awful. I mean, that I can't imagine um, what they were going through when they found out, first of all, and then have to go and tell all their customers. And um, they had a line of distributors. They are a network marketing company. And so um, my heart just, um, re I just can't imagine. That's awful. Um, you know, just to be promoting something and be on this mission and to and be talking to people about um, non-toxic skincare and how important it is and then to find out that the products you're using and promoting are actually um, containing you know chemicals or whatever it was that were against what they totally believed in and so um, Avery Anderson and my family I believe are stepping out and um, somebody else is taking over the company and I think they're gonna um, rebrand and try to you know scrape it together I guess you could say but um, here, here's a couple of thoughts um, from just being in the industry of network marketing. Um, that's tough. That's hard. Um, you know, what do you decide to do? Do you start all over? Do you um, just completely get out? Or do you stick it out and wait to see what's going to happen? Um, that's a really tough decision. And so uh, my heart goes out to all those people that are making that decision. Um, number two, a lot of people are questioning who can you trust? Uh, Ava Anderson Company, I um, I know I met a couple of distributors. They're very passionate about what they were selling and um, their, you know, their mission. It was awesome. It sounded great and, uh, you know, very conscious about what was going in to the formulation. Um, unfortunately, they didn't have the uh, other, the people producing it weren't backing that up. They tried to take the cheap route, right? And um, that happens more than we care to admit. I know, I remember last year, the big news was New York. Uh, the New York Attorney General was suing a lot of big corporations for supplements that contained no traces or small traces of the uh, herbs or minerals that they said were in those supplements. So who can you trust? That's, that's a big issue right now. And, um, you know, like I said before, I'm in the industry. I understand that's, that's a big thing and that's really hard. Um, and now those people are trying to find out, um, you know, where are they going to turn? Where are you going to look to, to trust? What company can you trust to, um, produce a, a pure product, a certified organic product or a product that is going to have what it says in there. So, you know, third party testing is very important. Hi from France. Thank you. Um, have you guys heard about this in France? I'd love to know. Uh, let me know if you guys have heard about this. Um, it's really unfortunate. And um, so like I said, I, I'm, I hope that the distributors and that company um, that it goes well for them and goes smooth for them and whatever they decide to do. And I really um, want to reach out um, to you guys and let you know that there are companies that you can trust. Um, but like you said, you have to be very choosy. You have to be picky. You have to look for companies that um, do testings on the ingredients. And they do testings on um, so the ingredients, the first part, and then the end product. Every batch. Um, because it's, it's critical. Because like what happened with Avery Anderson, they were very passionate about their mission, very passionate about non-toxic chemicals. But look, their suppliers tried to cut corners, and that's what happens far more than we care to admit. Um, I can even relate it to what's happening in Flint. Um, I mean, not obviously on a different spectrum, but um, the mayor knew 
there was lead in the water, right? But uh, to save money, they went ahead and kept the supply coming from not the fresh source that was available and they had before from this other source. So um, be careful, you guys, when you're out there. Um, look for products that are tested on the ingredient, that are tested on the on end product, that, um, of course, organic is always better uh, when you're looking for stuff and looking for you know, non-toxic skin care. Um, I know that we have a line that we use that's fabulous. It is tested. It's got patents on it. Um, we have, you know, a line of cleaners that we use that are tested. Um, and I know they're safe and I know they work and I trust. I've seen the tests that they do. I've seen that um, we just put up a new building, you know, for it. So um, look for those things. Um, my heart goes out to you guys if you've, you know, were involved with that company at all. Um, it's really hard. It's really, really hard to see something like this happen, especially since we all want to link arms with uh, people on a similar mission. So I hope that you guys um, got value from today's scope. If you just jumped on, I'm going to hop off. I'm about to quit, but I hope you can go back and watch it again. Um, leave me some comments. I'd love to hear what you guys are thinking. Um, if you go through my profile, you can see my Facebook page and go on there and let's have a conversation about this um, because really this is important. We want to have companies with integrity and companies that are doing what they say they're going to do. So um, with that, I'm going to sign off and I will see you guys again.